Yeah, she told me get ready, I'm coming. I don't fucking know what I'm supposed to be doing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. Um, today it's Monday and I'm trying to get ready because, child, I got a lot to do today. I have kind of dragged my morning a little bit because I wanted you to start a little bit earlier, but I overslept. I woke up at like, what, 8 to 10 and I wanted to wake up at 7 so, <laughs> so that I can be able to do everything that I have to do, but regardless of that, okay, I'm still going to have to accomplish everything that I need to do today, so right now I just want to... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I want to get ready, okay? I haven't really done anything because I'm just trying to well my face. It just finished cleaning it. As I look dry as hell. So, here's the tea. I need to go back to NTSA today because last week about one, I think, um, I never got a chance to actually do what took me there. Because, like I told you guys in my last weekly vlog, um, the, the freaking, um, system wasn't working. So, last week wasn't a, a week for me to do anything. Actually, last week was the most productive, unproductive I have ever been in a long time. That's why I didn't even drop, um, a weekly vlog yesterday. So, I dropped it into a different video. Plus, I didn't even... I didn't even post on Wednesday, y'all. Last week was a mess. Um, last week wasn't great for me, honestly speaking. So, these are the things that I was supposed to do last week, but I didn't. So now I'm pushing them to this week. Um, so I really, really, really hope and pray that the system is working because I want to, um, I want to just get it done with it. I just, I just want to finish with this. Oh, I've been driving around with an expired driver's license. Although I do have the receipt that shows that I paid for the renewal. Cause you, have, you can apply online and then go there. And I don't know, I guess to pick it up or to, I don't even know what I'm going to do there. <laughs> but I did apply for it online. So whatever it is that I have to go there, this is my first time ever renewing it. Um, renewing a freaking driver's license, so I don't really know, um, like if I'm gonna have to wait a little bit more for them to print it out, or am I gonna come back with my new driver's license? Honest to God, I don't even know. But besides the point, I just have to go and get this done and put it at the back of everything because it's been bothering me that I haven't really finished with that and I don't really like going to public offices, not public, sorry, government offices for a lot of reasons. First of all, there's always a lot of people there, which apparently that's, you know, that's expected. It's a government office, but everything gets slow sometimes. I don't know. Government offices are just child. Plus, that was a problem because you know that was a week or so or more that we didn't really have like a good government after elections because there was a petition going on but our president was sworn in our fifth president was sworn in um on tuesday last week was it last week yeah it was last week so government offices they do have a new government so they need to stop, you know, I hope they're working again properly. Cause that was an effect, like, given the fact that um, we didn't have a government, it kinda slowed down everything, but that's okay. Now we do, so I hope um, everything is gonna, is gonna be working now, cause our government is intact. So yeah. I just want to get just a little bit of makeup on. I just don't want to go there looking crusty and musty. Just because. And I want to look great. I want to look great. By the way, guys, did you notice something different about me? Do you? Did 
Should I tell you or sh should I just wait for you to see for yourself? <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's here. Child, uh, like I told you, last week was hard. So what did I do? I went to, I, like, I was about to go 2006 Britney on myself and chop off my hair, but not all of it, but a couple of inches off. But I was like, you know what? I am not that dramatic, I think, probably, because I was thinking about it the day before I went to the the salon i was thinking about it and then uh, when i got there i was like child don't be dramatic just paint your hair and move on so i did so now i have red hair <laughs> that is red at the at the beginning like uh, like a couple of inches it's pure mega red and then this other part is copper red which when you combine it all together it looks great and i like it so but I wasn't supposed to like it that much. It was supposed to be all pure, whatever, red. But when I saw it, like, when it was, like, done and I saw it, I was happy about it. So, yeah. I just want to get a couple of stuff going on. Just some um, foundation, some concealer. Not concealer. Foundation, um some contouring and blush and the powder and I'm off the door <sighs> it's very fast and easy so like I was saying um this was in the color that I was supposed to get one I was supposed to like I wanted it I don't even know this the part that got the red color was the part that my growth was in my hair is chemicalized so the part that was um freaking natural hair that was growing in that's the part that caught the red color very quickly okay so i'm not mad about it the other part was already brownish that used to, that i used to have the brownish color that i got um so when i applied red on it it became copper so when you mix those two colors together child i actually do like it i don't know why <laughs> i like how it's in now so we went with it and now I'm excited because I just wanted a new face, a new look really, not like a new face, but like a new look and I got it. <laughs> now I got my hair, I'm <laughs> child. Anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to rush because I think it's already 10 because when I was starting to get ready, it was like 9.45 and I do want to finish this quickly because I think I do have other errands that I need to run this same day, so I just want to get uh, the first thing I just want to do is finish with the major thing and then everything else, you know, probably go get some groceries. I can do that like later or even tomorrow. It's, it's much later. Um, I, the trip was very successful. The, the whatever was working, there was a line, but I was at the front of the line. So I was. 30 minutes stopped i was done so i had my fingers my what <laughs> i was about to say that do you know that little meme where that little child said how her fingers are microwaved and she's talking about x-ray but my fingerprints were taken and my photo was taken so they told me that um i have to wait for a message when i get the message i go collect my license so yay for me yay so now i'm back home when well, i really i'm on the road um i actually didn't even stop like i had um i had someone bring down my stuff that i require because i had to go shopping there was a cafe that was opened near our house but i'm questioning the meat and the only thing that i need to buy is meat and vegetables so i'm just gonna child i'm just gonna go and buy um meat from this other car which i trust this one is fairly new not so many people know about it but eventually it's gonna be my go-to but since this is me um and the last time i was there when i checked all the meat they had was packed already packed so i'm just gonna go to this other one when after like like i'm gonna give them like a month so that they can start having fresh meat and everyone is going to know that there is got four there actually a month is a long time two weeks maybe because it opened last week was it last week yeah they opened last week so it's still fairly, fairly new and not so many people even know it's there so yeah so right now 
and I go get the meat um, and then I go to the new grocery store it's the same store but a different branch because the branch that I'm used to kind of um, kind of is closing so I was like you know what since the other branch is actually near the house that we're moving to our new house so uh, I might as well just start going there and fami familiarizing myself with them that's the agenda today child I'm already tired um I don't even know what time is it child I'm not even gonna try and look so let's go to this shopping quickly quickly it's just me y'all <laughs> That is what is making me come all the way. But I am so happy that I got everything done. Wow. <laughs> Yo, I am so pissed. I am pissed. I'm pissed. It can't even come out. Here's the thing, y'all. Okay, I'm ready back home. Okay, I came back like a while ago. Um, like almost an hour ago. Because right now it's um 1.59. I came home like I think like one cent or something. So I've been home for a while, and I decided to. Um, okay, here's a, okay. I, I think I need to give you a backstory. So y'all know I buy a lot of shit from the internet. Um, I get a lot of uh stuff from AliExpress, right? So I had a package. This happened what last week? About one? Is it? Yeah, because it ain't last week, it's the other week, on Friday. Um, I got a call from the courier, courier, whatever, and he was like, where exactly are you at? And I told him, um, my apartment, so he said he's coming, right? He never called me back to tell me that the package, he's dropped the package. And so I waited one week down the line. Um, so that was the last week. I called the company and the bitch who answered was like oh, i'm gonna find a solution for you i'm gonna confirm bitch didn't confirm it's monday right so today i called again and this girl the lady who i talked to this time around was way much better she did find a solution she called um the she called me back when she told me she'll call me back so she called me back like almost immediately and on the call the driver courier whatever was also in the call and he started saying that I told him, child, with a very bad attitude up on his mouth. He's like, oh, I told you, well, no, no, I told you, me, me, I told him to leave it at the gate because I am not home and I hadn't even picked up the call for, like, I hadn't picked up after he called me for, like, three times. I'm like, you called me three times, I was holding my phone the entire time. And he told, but when he said that I told him that he leaves it at the gate. Because I'm not home and I'm standing at a balcony. I was I was like, I've never I always say actually this time around I never even tell anyone to leave it at the gate because there's always someone in the house to pick it up. Except on weekends and it comes early in the morning and I don't wanna get down. That's the only time I say leave it at the gate, but child Anywho, so I go downstairs, I go to the gate, um, and the the, the the security guys they tell me they they know that package. It's been there for almost two weeks, I'm like, yeah, that's the package, that's the one. And like, you have to wait and confirm with the night shift where it went. So I'm like, fuck, fuck, I can't hear it. It's not the fault of the security in my building because most of the time, um, when I say leave it at the gate, they already know it's for me because I always say the, the, the house number. But this time around, they didn't know it was me, they didn't know it was mine. Why? Because I never told that delivery guy the house number meaning the nigga didn't ask me about the house number meaning I didn't tell him to leave it at the gate because most of the time uh, when I tell people uh, I get a lot of packages we've all been through that a lot but I always tell them leave it at the gate and I tell them the house number and the moment I get back from wherever I was or the moment I go to the gate at any point this, the, the, the security guys will give me my package because even without me asking because they know I'm the one um, they know it belongs to me um, our house whatever so child I was pissed I'm like you have the audacity to talk to me badly and I'm trying and then he said first of all hold up because this is how I knew he um, this is how I knew he confused two people and I have this weird feeling that the package downstairs it ain't mine here's the tea he said that there were two 
people he had to deliver for in this house. Not in this house, in this building. Actually, the first one picked up where and picked the package and the other one, which is apparently me, said that to leave it at the gate. I feel like you confuse those two people. The information, for fuck's sake. I don't even know what to do. I think I'm just gonna have to wait for the night shift and confirm whether or not I'm gonna get my package or not. Oh, it's lost. I mean, it wasn't expensive, but I don't wanna wait another month to get another one. So that's the point. Oh, my mom is home. That's why they're being fussy. It's because my mom is home. So that's my complaining for the day. I think I'm just gonna have lunch now and I don't know catch up on some series or something because I've done everything that I was supposed to do today very productive and now I'm done child I don't really think I can be more productive than that and ooh, ooh, my video that I posted yesterday is doing good it's doing very good it's doing amazing awesome good morning you guys um <clears throat> It's Tuesday. It's about 10 30 and boy am I late Bitch I had an appointment for 10 a.m. It's 10 30 and I, I'm not there. I'm not there, child, I'm not there. It's my very first time at this um well here's a see y'all sorry if I'm not being clear. I'm going to get waxed for the very first time in my life. And I booked, um, I've been seeing this waxing place for quite a long time on Instagram. Um, they have a lot of followers, they have a lot of reviews. So many people do go there. They have a lot of branches across the country. So I was like, but if I'm gonna get waxed by anybody, maybe I should just go to them. Cause I've tried so many other places, just asking and whatever and I don't know, I just felt drawn to this one. It's not that far away from my house, but I'm already like late. For the matter of fact that um last night wasn't the best. Last night was I don't even know how to call what last night was. It was weird. Move along. I'm not trying to sell heads of the fucking president. I'm not trying to buy the head of the president. What am I supposed to do with that? I don't have a business that needs me to buy that. Anywho, um, what was I saying? Yeah, people just like, like he stood, he stood at the window and started staring. Did you guys see that? He just stood there and stared. I'm like, yes, I'm talking to myself in the camera. Move along, child. And there's this cool here who makes you sign a bunch of stuff. And what was I complaining about? So I was saying, what was I complaining about? Not complaining. Um, last night. I don't know what happened but I think my puppy I don't know what happened because she pooped ate the poop then started puking and that wasn't great for anybody so I didn't sleep from like 4 30 a.m. I didn't sleep at all so around 7 I finally got to have a little shut eye the reason I didn't sleep is first of all I moved to the living room because I slept on the couch because I, ha I, I had this weird anxiety and terrified that she's gonna puke on my bed and my level of disgust is not as high as my level of pain tolerance I would get disgusted by the very small thing so I was like you know what um, I'm just gonna sleep on the on this couch I didn't really sleep really Child, first of all the couch is very uncomfortable we have a comf we have a comfortable couch but when it comes to sleeping on it, it's very uncomfortable. So, I, um, fuck's sake. So I was unable to sleep, and then when I went to bed, I slept for like an hour. I got a phone call. I didn't even hear the bell ring when the chef came, so I had to, I had to, um, wake up. And then I slept again. I, I put a quick alarm for 30 minutes, I slept. But of course, I was up very quickly, so I kept on sleeping and sleeping. Next thing I know, I woke up at 9.55, so I had five minutes to get ready, which is 
close to impossible so what i did do i just took a shower i wanted to like do my makeup and everything like child i don't even have time for that so <laughs> yeah so i think i'm here am i i think so i think this is where it's supposed to be if not then i got it wrong it's supposed to be here somewhere I don't know where yeah this is it's supposed to be here so maybe I should just it's supposed to be here somewhere oh found it okay I didn't think I just looked at Google Maps to see exactly like you know where it can be and I know this area I've lived here for a while so where do I go from here where do I go from here oh it's here never mind I think he knows that no, you do know I'm not the best at parking now let me put this down it's in a nice location the training college. Where am I going? Uh, okay. Hi. Um, I made an appointment, even if I'm kind of late for it. <laughs> Casey. Oh, Casey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? You said no one. I said anyone because this is my first time here. I don't, I don't oh, really know anyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she told me get ready. I'm coming. I don't fucking know what I'm supposed to be doing. She thinks I know. I don't. Child. What am I supposed to be doing? Or something. Where am I supposed to shoot? Hmm. Yeah, I'm as weird as weird can be. Cause I've been here for like five minutes. Standing. What am I supposed to do? You need to ask someone if they know. Okay, she just finished. It was painful. Painful. It was good. It was painful. Okay, guys, so I should put a mask on. I have a mask on. <laughs> if this will be my moment, I'm up for it. I think. So, right now, I'm having my coochie steamed. Child! <laughs> I'm that bitch now. Okay guys, so it is much, much, much later. Um, it's about 7 p.m. and I just woke up. Child, I have slept this afternoon to the point that I don't even know what the fuck is going on anymore. But I woke up in such a shocking state because I, I fell asleep around... Well, I fell asleep around 3 I think then I had to wake up and lock the door when the stuff left so that was around 4 30 so it was still very bright outside so I slept again because I wasn't um satisfied with the, the nap and I woke up like 15 minutes ago 10 minutes ago I want to say and it was dark not so dark but it was dark so I kind of like woke up in shock i was a little bit nervous about my waxing appointment which went very well by the way um i think let's talk about that for a second i'm sorry the light is terrible i don't really have the energy to attach anything so we're gonna have to roll and i look like i just woke up because i just did so y'all roll and unfiltered 
that's my theme for my weekly vlogs. They're extremely raw and unfiltered. This is me. That's the point. The point of a channel is to show you guys, the point of the weekly vlogs is to show you guys my life. And this is it. This is it. I cannot be more real than I am right now. So anyway, besides the point. So when I got there, um, yo, you saw when I got there, but <sighs> child, the vaccine. You see, now I can go to a gynecologist. My biggest worry in life was a gynecologist. Like, I've never been to a gyna. Um, there's one time that I got UTI, but I wasn't like told to like spread open or whatever. Uh, they just took my pee sample. But this one child, like the lady was very okay with it. I mean, she'd be doing this for God knows how long, so she is a professional. Um, the first one was okay because, you know, legs down. Let's rip off your bikini line. And then she's like, now spread your legs. I'm like, oh, fuck. And then she's, she's talking, like, she's talking about something, you know. I'm talking about, we're talking about, you know. I don't even know what the fuck she's talking about at this point. Because I was just in my head thinking, child, I am spread wide open in front of a woman I just met getting mad. And that was not even the worst part. You see, now that I that I that I think of it, I think I could have started smaller. Like my very first time getting wax and whatever, I started with a Bra Brazilian waxing because at some point I just like now lift your legs up for me. I'm like, oh no. I mean that part was very quickly. And it was very painful, y'all. I think also maybe it's because of the first time waxing and the nerves for the first time waxing it was very painful for me okay and i i go around praising my pain levels like i can tolerate a lot of physical pain so i just feel like maybe it was nerves at this point because i've never been waxed in my entire life so that was interesting but everything is so soft I know, I know this is TMI. Not really. It's very soft. Yay. Hmm. Will I be doing this? Probably. Maybe. I think so. Um, We'll see the results of it. We'll see. If it's good enough for me, I'm going to be doing it every month or, you know, every six weeks or something. But if it's not because I hate shaving. If there's one thing I hate, is the process of shaving and the outcome and the aftermath of shaving. So... Uh, and using the cream isn't better either. I kind of feel like it burns me at some point. So, yeah. It's 12.30 and I'm still in my pajamas because I just have a whole lot of emails to write, okay? Y'all, it's Thursday and today wasn't a day to look cute whatsoever. I haven't even seen the inside of my bathroom yet. <laughs> because i decided that today um i've been putting this off since monday but today was a day for i'm not even sure what to call this but the other side of content creation that people don't understand or people don't think is part of our work um i'm on my shopify account if you guys can see my shopify account and I am basically trying to, I'm writing a couple of applications, because uh, this is an affiliate market industry, website, whatever. So you just go around looking for brands and, yeah, brands that actually, um, they, how am I going to call this, they align with your content that they align with what you believe in not what you believe in about what your content is all about now for me my channel my niche is all about lifestyle a little bit of beauty just a little bit <laughs> um mostly just lifestyle vlogging and that's what i'm looking for i've uh, i've gone through a couple of brands hair brands um companies um phone cases because y'all you know i can sell them i like my cases like yo i already 
have I bought a new one I have two more coming even if one is for my mother but still buying cases is like a good hobby that I have um, I also did apply to what else have I applied to I've applied to like 10 companies in the last hour um, so it's quite difficult trying to compose emails not really an email more like a email like message application 10 different brands with 10 different outlooks 10 different material um, from digital designing whatever template companies to phone cases to VPN so I've been busy at work and this is a part that people don't think is part of our job I'm a small creator so I don't really get emails for affiliate or uh, partnership so I kind of do have to knock on the door like the real estate market says go knocking at doors and that's what I'm kind of doing with my Shopify I'm just applying so I'm just basically knocking on doors one of it will open now will open as long as as I put in the work and that's what I am doing right now so today it's just a day I am having a smoothie what I smell banana and pineapple I'm the one who made it <laughs> I smell banana and pineapple and I think blueberries and like spinach because I had my breakfast so late so I don't think I'm gonna have lunch anytime soon because I have my breakfast late and I'm still full so I'm just gonna sit here work some more child you know I, I picked being a content creator because I thought it's only gonna be filming videos and editing and posting the editing part takes a long time do I like doing it yes does it take a lot of energy of course it does but I enjoy doing it now the part that I wasn't expecting you see um I had to listen to a couple of content creators and they were like especially for beginner um vloggers beginner content creators you need to go knocking on doors to find affiliate um marketing and affiliate partnerships because that's where you start that's where you start so this is where i'm starting um child i am in the middle of writing this application and i think i'm gonna go through a little bit more and then i'm gonna be done for the day i have until one according to the clock in my head i have until one to do this i gave myself two hours to work on this so that's what i'm doing what i've noticed is that most of these companies they offer services to people in the United States. I'm in Kenya, but thank the Lord, most, like my biggest demographic area, geographic area is the United States. It's so weird, but most of my views come from the United States. And Vietnam, and what was the other country? Because Kenya was like a number five. That's how you know, child, this country of mine. When, and I'm not a comedian, so I have a new kind of content that they're not used to. Um, I look like I'm... Why did I open the camera looking like this? I could have at least come my hair. But what I'm trying to say is, that's the selling point for me. I am trying to let this companies know that even if I'm from Kenya, most of my um, geographical views they come from the united states so when i'm applying to be an affiliate for all these companies that really um kind of focuses on united states market they can also consider me because y'all number one uh but most of them yes most of from the united states others cover so many countries others um they cover europe others cover asia alone i'm, I'm yet to see one that covers africa alone this continent we need to step up I don't know step up a game or something but thank God this website is applicable for everyone in the world because it's so helpful to me I need to work a little bit extra to find these things because y'all you know, like I told you Kenya we're not part of this industry yet so yeah so I'm gonna sit here write a bunch more applications because if I don't do them, um, then they're just going to come knocking on my door. I'm the one who needs them the most. So I knock on their door. So that's what I want to focus on. Um, so it's kind of like, oh, how am I going to call it? 
identifying the app or the company or the brand that's the biggest um that's the big that's the biggest problem because most of them are financial real estate that has nothing to do with my content whatsoever so it's kind of going to be hard to try and 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 be an affiliate for them because what do i know about real estate what do i know about financial companies but when it comes to creative websites um anything to do with lifestyle and everything i kind of got that got that nice and easy so that is that is that is what i'm doing today that is just all i am doing today nothing else maybe consider taking a shower later one but other than that this is my job for today so i'm gonna get on with it and then also i kind of have to read all the terms and conditions so yo it's a hustle by school i'm gonna get on with it yeah good but it's not really morning it's like 30 minutes to noon anyway it's wednesday and i i didn't have a lot to do today but apparently now i do have errands to run even if it's way late in the morning to start running them but i have to run them um i woke up late today i woke up like at 10 or whatever because last night I slept late. Y'all, I told you. You remember when I told you I had this major nap? Yeah, that nap mess, messed me up. Because when it's time to sleep, I'm trying to adjust the trap in, sorry. When it was actually time to sleep, I didn't have no sleep. So I spent like freaking four hours on TikTok last night. Okay, ended up sleeping at 1.30, almost 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, So waking up was a struggle. And the only thing that I think I thought I had on my agenda is just to edit today's um, chit chat and post it. But child, no, mm -mm, I do have a lot of errands that I need to run that I didn't know that I had. It's just shopping here and there. The problem is I have to hit, sorry, a couple of different stores, so it kind of becomes a whole lot of errands. It is almost midday. I haven't even taken a shower. I've just finished my breakfast right now so i do have energy so i just want to start by taking a shower <laughs> and fixing up this mess and then i just get on with my errands it's gonna take what was that it's gonna take me probably like an hour and then i come back and and focus on my video that is supposed to be going up today so yeah it's very hot outside so i'm just going to like put on a very flowy open dress because i don't even have time to think too much about what i want to wear and also i'm gonna do mild makeup because i did want to film today as well um i was planning to film a chit chat at some point today so it's good to have my makeup done just a little bit so that i can be able to turn on the camera if i do want to uh film a chit chat later on so yeah let's just get one with that okay that's probably gonna take me like 30 minutes and that is all i need right now um if it takes me more than that i'm gonna be late for everything that i have to do today so we're just gonna have to start we're just gonna have to work through this very quickly very very quickly because I do need the afternoon free without nothing because I need to be done by like 1, 2. If not, then I'm going to be in so much trouble with time management for today. But it's just because I didn't know I have to run errands outside the house. If I did know, um, I would have planned myself better. So, yeah. Let's get cleaned up. Stop looking like a freaking bum every time. Okay, guys, it's exactly noon and I have finished getting ready. That was actually, I feel like I'm dragged, but I'm finally ready. I am wearing this. Let me see if I can show you. Um, I'm wearing this very flowy, dressy. It's a, it's, it's a Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> yeah i wear that to go run errands or whatever it's quite short in the front i don't care <laughs> i worship that i know people are gonna stare but canyons need to grow the motherfucking up so i'm gonna go run my errands child because 
It's right. Y'all, I am so exhausted. Stop staring at me, child. My business. I'm exhausted. I mean, first I had to go buy fruit and um but not vegetables just fruits for smoothies and stuff and then i was contemplating if i'm gonna enter the new car right next to our house or just come to house of leather because i still have to, had to come to house of leather uh to get a couple of stuff so and house of leather is a bit far not too far but a little bit so i was like so what am, where am i gonna start then my brain told me that House of Leather sells milk. I don't know what the hell I was on thinking that they sell milk because they don't. So I've bought a couple of stuff um, and extra stuff that I wasn't supposed to buy. I was just going there to buy a couple of glasses and zip plugs, zip plug bags. But I ended up buying a bunch of stuff also in the picture frame. But that was part of the plan as well. But I ended up buying a couple of other stuff. I mean, I bought chew toys for my doggies. Um, and then I bought coffee mags. I had bought one initially and then I bought another one because my mom would be like, why did you not buy it for me? <laughs> so, cause they're very heavy and beautiful. They are so cute. So I bought two and then now I'm on my way and I, I need to buy milk. So I think I'm gonna stop at the quick mat along my way home and buy from there. Child. I'm exhausted already and y'all know that you have to walk around um house of leather you just can go and pick whatever you want you have to walk the whole circle and that's how i ended up buying extra shit that i wasn't supposed to buy but that's fine <sighs> child i'm exhausted and it's hot it's very hot so i'm gonna go to where am i going I'm gonna go to Quick Mart and get the milk because I just need um, almond milk and I think oat milk and then I go home. Child, I still, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna film today because today has become so whatever. I think I'm just gonna um, focus on can I pass please? Thank you. I'm gonna focus on editing my video and posting it. Filming, maybe we push it to tomorrow because it's just filming next week's sit down video. So I can push that to tomorrow. No foul, no harm, no whatever. So let's go to Quick Mart and get milk because she needs some milk. I just finished all my errands for today. I'm on my way home. Um, I am sweating through my vagina y'all fuck it's so hot i bought all the milk like all the health milk i bought oat milk almond milk and hazelnut milk because it's also getting coffee in the morning it's just very healthy so now y'all let's go home let's go home child i am done done look at it even the fuck it's so hot child let's go home mm -mm, mm -mm. y'all i am back home i mean i got home a couple of well i got home a while ago um i don't know i've had like um a plate of popo fruit because i wasn't hungry enough for food i'm gonna eat later on and i feel hungry but for now i need to get on with this editing and my hair is child i feel pain i mean it's so tight and since i have decided i might not gonna film today let me remove my hair y'all before i lose my mind so i know this is a horrible angle but we're gonna have to work with it so i'm not even sure which is which because i have two videos that i don't know if i've posted them or not <laughs> because last week I didn't post on Wednesday I never posted anything so it confused everything so I have to confirm first and see whether or not these videos have been posted before okay so I haven't posted that yay 
it's a it's a chit chat about what you've already seen it before you see this video. The the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me. What about this video? What's this about? Uh, I know which this one is. I. Oh yeah, no, this this is the wrong one. No, mm -mm. no, let's delete that. So I don't really have any chit chat for next week. It's cool. See now, now I've gotten everything in perspective. Um, I only had one video that I haven't posted yet. It was supposed to be for last week Wednesday, but I never posted it. So it goes this week. Well, today. Um, what time is it? It's. 242 and I kind of want this video to go up by 4 so I gotta hustle and get it out by 4 so that because it's supposed to go up like I'll just try and get the videos out by like 2 but today was impossible for that and it's okay so instead I'm gonna get it I'm gonna make sure I get it out by by four so I'm gonna edit this <clears throat> what child this video looks so clear I can't even it's so clear I'm literally just talking about the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me y'all have seen that video and I know I'm gonna find I'm gonna get a secondhand embarrassment as I edit it so I'm gonna get on with it and I think I'm gonna call this a day because I am I'm tired already I'm done so yeah it's 12 30 and I'm still in my pajamas because I just have a whole lot of emails to write okay y'all it's Thursday and today wasn't a day to look cute whatsoever I haven't even seen the inside of my bathroom yet <laughs> Because I decided that today, um, I've been putting this off since Monday, but today was a day for, I'm not even sure what to call this, but the other side of content creation that people don't understand or people don't think is part of our work. Um, I'm on my Shopify account, if you guys can see, my Shopify account, and... I am basically trying to, I'm writing a couple of applications, uh, cause this is an affiliate market industry, website, whatever. So you just go around looking for brands and yeah, brands that actually, um, they, how am I going to call this? They align with your content that they align with what you believe in not what you believe in about what your content is all about now for me my channel my niche is all about lifestyle a little bit of beauty just a little bit <laughs> um mostly just lifestyle vlogging and that's what i'm looking for i've uh, i've gone through a couple of brands hair brands um companies um phone cases because y'all you know i can sell them i like my cases like y'all I already have I bought a new one I have two more coming even if one is for my mother but still buying cases is like a good hobby that I have um I also did apply to what else have I applied to I've applied to like 10 companies in the last hour um so it's quite difficult trying to compose emails not really an email more like a email like message application 10 different brands with 10 different outlooks 10 different material um from digital designing whatever template companies to phone cases to vpn so i've been busy at work and this is a part that people don't think is part of our job I'm a small creator, so I don't really get emails for affiliate or uh, partnership, so I kind of do have to knock on the door, like the real estate market says, go knocking at doors, and that's what I'm kind of doing with my Shopify, I'm just applying, so I'm just basically knocking on doors, one of it will open, now will open, 
as long as, as I put in the work and that's what I am doing right now. So today is just a day. I am having a smoothie. What? I smell banana and pineapple. I'm the one who made it. <laughs> I smell banana and pineapple and I think blueberries and like spinach. Because I had my breakfast so late so I don't think I'm going to have lunch anytime soon because I have my breakfast late and I'm still full. So I'm just going to sit here, work some more, child. You know, I, I picked being a content creator because I thought it's only going to be filming videos and editing and posting. The editing part takes a long time. Do I like doing it? Yes. Does it take a lot of energy? Of course it does. But I enjoy doing it. Now, the part that I wasn't expecting, you see, um, I had to listen to a couple of content creators. And they were like, especially for beginner um, vloggers, beginner content creators you need to go knocking on doors to find affiliate um, marketing and affiliate partnerships because that's where you start that's where you start so this is where I'm starting um child I am in the middle of writing this application and I think I'm gonna go through a little bit more and then I'm gonna be done for the day I have until one according to the clock in my head I have until one to do this I gave myself two hours to work on this so that's what i'm doing what i've noticed is that most of these companies they offer services to people in the united states i'm in kenya but thank the lord most like my biggest demographic area geographic area is the united states it's so weird but most of my views come from the united states and vietnam and what was the other country? Because Kenya was like a number five. That's how you know, child, this country of mine. When, and I'm not a comedian, so I have a new kind of content that they're not used to. Um, I look like I'm... Why did I open the camera looking like this? I could have at least combed my hair. But what I'm trying to say is that's the selling point for me. I am trying to let this companies know that even if I'm from Kenya, most of my... Um, geographical views that come from the united states so when i'm applying to be an affiliate for all these companies that really um kind of focuses on united states market they can also consider me because y'all number one uh but most of them yes most of from the united states others cover so many countries others um they cover europe others cover asia alone i'm, I'm yet to see one that covers africa alone this continent we need to step up I don't know step up our game or something but thank God this website is applicable for everyone in the world because it's so helpful to me I need to work a little bit extra to find these things because y'all you know, like I told you Kenya we're not part of this industry yet so yeah, so I'm going to sit here, write a bunch more applications. Because if I don't do them, um, then they're just going to come knocking on my door. I'm the one who needs them the most, so I knock on their door. So that's what I want to focus on. Um, so it's kind of like, how am I going to call it? Identifying the app or the company or the brand, that's the biggest um that's the big that's the biggest problem because most of them are financial real estate that has nothing to do with my contents whatsoever so it's kind of going to be hard to try and 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 be an affiliate for them because what do i know about real estate what do i know about financial companies but when it comes to creative websites um anything to do with lifestyle and everything i kind of got that got that nice and easy so that is that is that is what i'm doing today that is just all i am doing today nothing else maybe consider taking a shower later one but other than that this is my job for today y'all it just started raining so abruptly like y'all the rain needs to give a little warning or whatever so it's way much later um it's like 4 45 and i applied like i applied for like 10 more 
I want to say I've been watching Aaliyah as usual y'all so y'all let me pose her first let me pose her um so I feel starving like I feel like I'm hungry and I don't know why I finally got like ready I took a shower um and got my act together i took a shower i even did a face mask this I, um this is some face masks that i got from garnier i used them and it just came feeling so good so i don't know what i want to do because i do feel like i want to eat something not like food but like something Ooh, did I, oh, by the way, y'all, I got some packages. Got some packages. So, this was delivered today. Um, this is a harness for the puppy. The puppy. It's just a cute little, 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 what, what is that? It's just a cute little swap harness, whatever going on. And it has the strap. And I got two of this. I just got a call to confirm if my mom's room, the windows are closed. Anyway, so like I was showing you, I got two of these because I have two puppies who are exactly the same size. Not the same age though, but exactly the same size. So, yeah. And then, shh. And then I also got, hold up, child. I also got this. This is the paw cleaner. I could have shown you guys earlier, but I was too busy. This is, you know, the paw cleaner. Just put her paws in there and, you know, clean them. I actually thought it was electric, but it's not. It's very manual, so that's what I got. And y'all remember. Now that we're talking about packages, y'all remember when I was ranting, I think it was this vlog, yeah. I was ranting about my freaking, um, I was ranting about my package getting, like, left at the gate, and I'm not sure if I ever got, ooh, y'all, I'm shiny. If I'm ever gonna get it back, it's fucking lost. It's fucking lost. If someone took it, I don't know who the fuck took it, it's lost. So I kind of have to, um buy a new one for crying out loud like i don't get it like why would you say something you're not even sure what it is okay it might be something that's gonna get you in jail why are you taking it <sighs> child so what i want to do right now is i think i'm gonna make some coffee because i'm not in the mood to eat food food because i had lunch not too long ago and i am not feeling the dinner tonight, I'm not feeling it at all. 100%, I don't feel it. I don't. I don't feel it. I don't feel it and I don't want to eat it. So, I think I'm just going to have breakfast. The pancakes that I had for breakfast with coffee. That's going to be my dinner. You know, sometimes I eat weirdly. But anyway, who cares? So I just kind of want to make coffee right now. Um, I got this new mugs yesterday when I was good. These are the mugs that I told you that I, I got from House of Leather. It looks like clay. It feels like the clay mugs. And it just started raining like I showed you guys. I feel like it's cold. It's not really. But I just, you know, want to sit down and eat and drink coffee with this. I feel more relaxed for the evening. Lock this damn thing. It ain't that hard. Child. What am I looking for? I prefer having this when I'm trying to get like creamy, creamy coffee. Then the next thing I need to look for is a froster. I need to get that. 
So I'm just gonna put this in the microwave for like a while. I heat up the milk separately just so that I can get everything naturally heat up. I just don't like putting the combined coffee mixture back to the microwave. It doesn't seem well with me. There's nothing wrong with doing that, but I don't like doing that, so I put them separately. Separately. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.